with two, three, four, five. It's a five stack. I'm going to select that whole entire thing and I'm going to smooth it. Why is my tools not working? My tool has been acting really funky like, lately, so I apologize. But I'm going to smooth this down fairly thin. Because I want it as thin as I possibly can, but I don't want to get any thinner than this because then you're not going to be able to see it and then you're going to be mad at me. So I got it pretty much the size that I needed here. And I'm going to copy a section out of it. And I'm going to paste it right next to this one. And what I am aiming for is to create a wedge. Just like this. And that's basically the beginning point. <laughs> Alright. Um, the next thing. I'm going to select it. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it out because I want to get it away from that that anti-voxel that I have pasted there. So I have that. Now, the next little thing we're going to do is I'm going to take another voxel. I'll bring this up and paste. I'm going to select that voxel and I'm going to smooth this down until it's little itty bitty tiny and hopefully you can see that voxel sitting there I'm going to copy it copy let's come over to my wedge now that I have created I'm going to paste this Hopefully I can get this thing. Yep, yeah, I'm right on it. Hopefully you can see that that dot there <laughs> up above it. I'm gonna bring this down right into that point, and I'm gonna bring it down one below that point and click. So now I've pulled down that bottom point like so. Now, I'm going to copy that out again. I'm going to paste it, bring this up. Now the trick is to bring this point downwards. And to do that, give me a moment. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head how I did that. I'm going to take the original wedge that I had, I'm going to paste, bring this up, mirror it, bring it up, and paste. Did that make any sense? Alright, so now I have this this right here has happened. I had this sharp edge. Now I grab that, I copy it, I paste it, bring this up. So now I have this shape that I have created now. I'm going to take my add tool and add one voxel to the back side of it. And there we go. We have a grinder blade. Copy that. And I can paste that right on top of the ones I created earlier. But the more you play with it, uh, the different sizes of wedges that you, you play with to actually create these things, 
you can come up with different types of effects. You can see that this one right here, that point that I used to connect it to, I used a different wedge size here. Um, but this one right here looks pretty much exactly like the one I have up here. But the, um, this one right here, most likely I used a different wedge for it. Um, use one that actually comes down into a different type of a, a center, center, the centralized point that comes down like this. Um, but you can get different effects in, in the process. Let's 